Hey Cancer, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Sunday, January 3rd. At the heart of your reading, we have the Tower in Reverse. So one of two possibilities here. You're either sidestepping a potential disaster or a major shakeup in your life. Um, meaning the uh, if you hadn't changed something, if you hadn't addressed an issue, then it might have blown up in your face, figuratively speaking. Um, or there is a major change happening in your life and you're totally rolling with it. Um, rather than trying to resist the things that are falling out of your life, you're in acceptance mode and you're just, you know, okay. You're going with the flow here. Let's see what the challenge is. We have the King of Presents reversed. This could be a major shakeup in your financial situation or your ability to control your material environment. Let's see what you're focused on. The world. You, uh, yeah. The tower is here in order to bring something to completion. Um, this is an opportunity for you to level up. So it is a little bit of divine intervention. I say a little bit because of that reversal. So it's not necessarily like hitting you over the head with what needs to be removed from your life or from your situation. It's a, a, a softening of the tower energy. And you're embracing it. You are keen to move on to what's next. And it may have been difficult to figure out or to make the proactive decisions in order to remove yourself from situations or remove people from your life or make the changes that are necessary to set yourself up for what comes next. Hence the universe kind of stepping in with divine intervention and paving the way for you. You seem very on board with that. If not totally on board, you're accepting of it. You're going with it. Let's see what led up to this in the recent past. We have the chariot. Yeah, this is forward momentum due to alignment. So the reason why this tower energy has come into your life to graduate you through the world energy to what comes next is because you aligned yourself with your higher purpose. You started moving in that direction. And so universe is... Uh, partnering up with you and saying, all right, I'm going to help you out here, but it's going to be a whirlwind. It's going to be lots of changes. And you've totally, uh, from what I'm seeing, you've totally signed up for that. Let's see the energy of your environment. What is going on all around Cancer? We have the King of Potions. Okay, I think that you have a support system here. So it's not like you're totally going this alone. You're not um, You're not in free fall here. You do have a safety net. Um, so not 100% of your life is changing at once. It might mean that if everything in your life needs to change, universe is kind of directing things like, okay, Let's change this, and then this, and then this, so that it's a little bit easier of a transition. The King of Potions is an empathic energy uh, in that he recognizes what the needs of the situation are. Because it's his responsibility to oversee that everything gets done properly. And from his perspective, the most effective way for everything to get done properly is if everyone, if everyone's emotion, emotional needs are being met. Now, everyone's emotional needs can't be met unless he knows what they are. Hence, the, the well-developed sense of empathy. So this tells me that you and everyone who is affecting you, their sense of empathy has been heightened at this time to allow for a stronger network of support so that you go, you get through this, um, this tower energy in a positive way. 
In the near future, we have justice. This is balance coming into alignment. This is right uh, wrongs being righted, karmic energy being repaid. If um, part of this experience for you involves legal proceedings or going to court, then a decision will be, or, or the process will start in the near future. Let's see your surprise energy. We have the Empress reversed. So, you're going to start feeling more sure of yourself, but it's going to be new to you. It's not going to be like this overt confidence that you can immediately share with the world um, because you need to kind of test it out for yourself first. It's going to start in a private place, a private sense of um, accomplishment or self-worth. But it's this recognition that you are beginning to achieve more of your full potential here. That this change you're going through, once you're um, once you've completed it and you have come through on the other end, you're going to be standing strong. You're going to be able to accomplish a lot of the things that you've always dreamed of. But the reversal tells me that it's just, it's just the first glimmer of this. It's like you, you'll be able to see how things are going to shape up when everything that's up in the air right now when it lands. Let's see your surprise energy. Oh, sorry. Your hopes and fears. The Empress is your surprise. Let's see, what are we hopeful for? We have the Eight of Presence, putting the work in. You are ready to put in the effort here. It's just there's so much up in the air that putting effort in at this moment may just include being more passive with the changes that are occurring. Um, you may be hopeful for work to line up in a, in a better way for you. So if, a, if, if your career, if your income, if your job is um, up in the air right now, then that's one of your, your hopes. The fear side of that would be, you know, I, potentially that your job wouldn't line up in a more advantageous way, but you're more hopeful than fearful, um, with this being in the upright position. So I like that a lot for your energy. Because what you think about, you bring about. So if you're hopeful for a positive resolution there, then, you know, that's the perfect time in order to um, exude hope into the situation because everything that's up in the air is going to be affected by your energy. So the best thing that you can do in applying yourself to the situation is get clear about what you want and um, be hopeful, be optimistic with, with a sense of purpose of how you want things to, to land. At the end of all of this, the way the energies culminate is with the hermit energy. So this is you gaining a, a new perspective on the whole situation. Um, it may include backing away from the situation for a time. Um, so some solitude might be built into this, or at least a separation from all of the... Uh, I don't want to say havoc because that feels like a strong word. It might feel that way to you. Um, disarray. It's like you'll get a reprieve from that. So I hesitate to say how that might look because of conditions in the world right now. I mean, were it not for COVID, I might say you'd get a vacation, like maybe an extended vacation in order to get away from it all. And st start to gain a, an outside perspective on your own life. 
If it's not possible for you to take a vacation, think of the mindset that you're able to achieve when you, like, imagine if you were to go on, like, a month-long vacation where you don't need to work, your responsibilities are taken care of, and you just get to, um, like, float and enjoy life for a month. It's... uh, It's this removal from the frustrations of what's going on in the immediate moment. And then when you go back into your regular life, your regular day to day, you can you can have a fresher perspective, you can have more energy, you can be more rejuvenated and want to engage again. So I I feel like that's the point at which you're going to find yourself is this um, desire to reengage after a period of withdrawal. Let's get you some advice. How can Cancer best make use of this energy for their highest and best good? Okay, yeah. It's just like I was saying, get really clear about what you want from the situation with the Ten of Presents being your advice. It's saying, do you see how, um, I mean, this is representing everything being on a tree. And it's interesting because for a long time after I had this deck, I thought this was the air. And that the, the trees were on the side, you know, like fall trees, and that a lot of things were just like being thrown up in the air and were about to fall down. I didn't realize until recently that that white um, graphic is the tree itself. So I'm, I'm feeling like that the way I originally saw the art of this card is like that um, everything in your life being up in the air with that tower energy you're going through, it's like universe came in and picked up all the presents and threw them up in the air. And how they all land is the advice here. It's like, picture what you want your life to look like. If you lack the ability to visualize, then it's all about conceptualizing, you know, make lists, Um, consider how you want to feel at the end of this. One of the silver linings of, you know, everything in your life being up in the air at the same time is it gives you a blank slate to write your own story, to write your own future. So universe wants you to inject um, desire into the situation. What do you want? Place some orders with the universe. Tell the universe what you want so that they can start filling those orders and lining things up to go the direction you want them to when this all lands. Cancer, I hope that helped. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow.